how I read the NAND chip that had the BGM form factor and 1.8 volt with the U-Link NAND. I need to do one time read of this NAND chip, which is 1.8 volt as well as the BGA uh, form factor. The first thing you need to know is the U-Link NAND is designed with 3.3 volt and it, it has five volt torrents. So if you interface with the five volt device, you can direct connect U-Link NAND to the target. However, for the lower voltage, like 1.2 volt and 1.8 volt, direct connect the chip to the um, IO pin here uh, is somewhat dangerous and you need to do proper level converter. And in this case, I'm using a chip called TXS0108E level converter. So when you purchase the from the uh, eBay or AliExpress, it's something like this and you can solder the wires. It can provide eight pins translate from one voltage to the other. In this case, 1.8 volt to the 3.3 volt. And in the NAND case, I need two chips. One is for the data line, which is eight pins, and the other needs six pins of IO, uh, like a, you know, read uh, command. So in order to do this, I carefully solder the wires to this chip on this side and provide 1.8 volt uh, power supply on this end. Then using the jump wires, uh, I put something like this from the unique end to this side, which has 3.3 volt also from the unique end. Uh, because I have added the wires, I also need some uh, extra delays to slow down the read process. Otherwise, these interference cause unreliable read. And in this case, I added a, a delay in the 1.36 software so we can reliably read it. So I put this one here and this one here. and lock it. Then I connect the and given power supply 1.8 volt. So in here I start the software and uh, since this I know the chip has the one gigabit I'm selecting one of the existing target, which is EA6200, and I can hit detect. You can see I can read the ID, which is 2CA18015. And this is not des uh, defined in the flash yet. And by the, reading the data sheet here, we can see 2C, uh, this is a micron, a one gigabit. 2C, this is uh, A1, which is this thing in my 8 bit or 1.8 volt and 80 and 15. So I'm going to edit this NAND flash. So in in order to do this, you can go here, go to the configuration folder in here, and then we can open the NAND flash editor. Actually, I already, just a sec. Actually, I already make the template like this. So this copy and paste to the end. So 2C a18015 is the ID we read from the flash. So C2C So 2C A18515 2C A18015 
and the flash name is this so we can read the flash here uh, this is the name and based on the data sheet we know it's one gigabit and we can get this parameter from this this is the sector size this is hex 840 uh, let me show you here this is 840 and the size is this thing and the total uh, sector number and sector size so now let's save it and then we can restart the software so restart the software again and if now I detect I can see here now 1.36 had this speed here if I select the one weight which is the, the maximum speed it will not read reliably I can select two weight or three weight so uh, there's not much difference between the two weight and the three weight I will in order to get reliable read I'm going to use the three weight and then I can get the data so now you can see the data is read here for the soldering I am using this wire uh, it has a code but you do not need to send to the end and you just can direct apply the solder heat will take off the coating and I can solder very thin wires and I tape down this one to the board so it won't move when I do the soldering okay so this chip has been read and all the content looks good Ulink NAND with a proper level converter can read a NAND chip with 1.8 volt and here is the perfect example.